Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Michael Essien to check out. Uh, with this card, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is a three-star skiller, four-star weak foot player. To be honest, I always prefer the weak foot, so it's good that they actually ended up giving him that. Um, he's a five foot ten player, high, high work rate with an average body type. So as a midfielder, that's already perfectly fine to work with. Uh, definitely got to give him the anchor chemistry style to work with a lengthy accelerate, considering the fact that his pace stats is actually going to be in a pretty decent area, right? He's going to have 92 acceleration with an 89 for sprint speed on a lengthy. So it's interesting because the acceleration is higher, but the lengthy will kind of push that sprint speed a little bit more, right? So definitely uh, some really cool stuff there. This card's shooting is on the lower side when it comes to finishing, but higher side when it comes to shot power. So the way that I see this card being used mostly um, is going to be in a way where it's like, you know, if I'm playing like the 4-2-4 formation, uh, he is going to be the stay back while attacking player, right? So where Tudom is, that's where I'd put Essien because of the shooting capabilities. Um, I would also use him in like a 4-3-2-1 formation being the stay back while attacking center mid. So let's say, for instance, I'm going to play the 4-3-2-1 formation and I have someone like Paul Pogba who's on that stay back while attacking cover center instruction. That's where I would put the Essien card in that situation because, again, he lacks in like the shooting uh, department, uh, but he's more he's going to definitely be more of like a defensive guy. But that little balance between him and someone like Tudom could be great, right? Um, so... Yeah, in-game, Anchor is going to make him a lengthy. His defensive stats will be in a significantly better position. And you're also going to be boosting his physical stats as well. Uh, when it comes to passing, the passing is going to be in a good area. Dribbling, we do have to experiment with because he is a 5'10 player working with an average body type. His agility is at a 77 and his dribbling is at an 80. So that may affect the card from time to time. We'll obviously see. But... Obviously, as a midfielder on that stay back while attacking, the main purpose of using this card is going to be in a defensive way, even though we're going to be using him uh, in the right center mid position as well on the get into the box for the cross, just to add some sort of like attacking element on the card for those of you that end up doing that. But I think most people would keep him on stay back while attacking by the way that this card looks. Uh, so pace, defense, physical being increased. He's going to be a lengthy player. Honestly, Looks like a pretty cool card to get if you end up packing him or you actually want to buy him on the market, you know, make a nice little cheeky uh, past and present Chelsea squad, whatever you want to do, right? So, um, yeah, we'll be using him in these different ways. We'll see how he plays. Hopefully, he is a beast. That was all very random like i the ball getting stuck under his foot that was so unfortunate man because i just needed a small drag touch you know nicely done Essien. and that is where lengthy is very helpful it took him a while to kind of accelerate into that position, but um, he was doing like that full turn, you know, especially if your gameplay is rough, they're going to do that sometimes. Yeah, see, like the L trigger with the lengthy worked out great there. And then once you let go of L trigger, his track back was fast as well. See, so that was me, like, just stopping, controlling, stopping, controlling. And he did perfectly fine. Especially on an anchor pushing his uh, lengthy part of the card. It's definitely nice. Not as fast as you'd like it to be if you're using a card like this in, like, the super, super, like, side positions. But you're going to use them through the middle mainly, right? So... Interception by Essien. Nice, Essien. Oh, kickoff is so weird. We're good. Oh, possession base EA, please. Please. 
Yeah, it was a quick turn. Wish it was mine, but such is life. Tap shot! Yeah, let's go, SCN. My boy, SCN. Let's go. Ooh, get the ball in the air. And it switches me. Does that make any sense? It doesn't, but it is what it is. Oh, I couldn't get that. Now oh, we're chilling. Should be possession based, but it is what it is. I thought it was AI I was going to get to that there. Good challenge. I have to chip it because I, I don't trust nothing. I don't trust nothing. That worked out. Really random, but it worked out. Oh, it's quick too. Very close. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we're chilling still, we're chilling. Full pass downwards, there we go. Ooh, I think that might have been a goal, actually. Maybe. Oh! I don't even know, dude, that was a double challenge there. Like, it was actually a double challenge. Chills on the edge of the 18, okay. Oh, doesn't grab that. But he came close. Yeah, I had a feeling he's going to go back in there. How's it back? Listen, he still has his ball, bro. Oh, he overcommitted. No. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Michael Essien card. So this card is really well formatted for how you're going to use them in the game, right? So like I was saying earlier, uh, the best ways to use a card like this is definitely going to be on that stay back while attacking instruction, right? Because yes, he has the center mid position change, but that's more for you to kind of line up your team a certain way for you to be able to... Um, you know, switch to whatever formation you want. But the main positions have to be more defensive oriented because with a card like this on stay back while attacking, his lengthy works out really well, right? With the 92 acceleration, 89 for sprint speed, it definitely works out great. But it's the massive boost that you give in defense and physical while being a transitioning beast on that lengthy that works out really well for the card, right? Um, there's situations where, obviously, if you're on the old gen version of FIFA, you got to give him a shadow. It's just kind of how it works because pace is very relevant. You got to boost that up as much as possible. But the thing is, is that the physical stats is still going to be in a good area. So the only difference between your play style when it comes to the way that you're noticing the way that your defense pops off is, do I want my player to cover long distance ground a little bit more or do I want him to cover uh, short distance? I think, generally speaking, it would still make sense to cover short and long on an anchor because he still has a 92 for acceleration. The only time that's going to be an issue is when the guy has to do like a full turnaround, right? That full turnaround because of the fact he's a physical player at five foot ten height, average body type, that's going to be noticeable in game. Like sometimes you guys were able to see where I was using him in the right sided area just to turn the guy and then go chase after afterwards. That's wasted time, right? So that's where you want the defensive AI to do the stuff for you because when you actually manually control them, it's worse, right? Um, so definitely gonna be very important to kind of do that stuff but yeah for the meta of the game he's not like a top top tier midf midfielder but for the price range of the card who could potentially keep going down an anchor chemistry style making him lengthy definitely makes the card pretty usable in this game i would say a little bit more than usable right because he has all the right stuff he's got the body type at an average he's working with really good physical stats so the strength and aggression is very noticeable it's very helpful to work with 
Um, and then obviously you boosting his defense to be in the high 90s area too is definitely a massive plus as well. So yeah, it's a card that if you're using him in the top divisions and you're trying to build some sort of concept around some Chelsea players or something, you can actually use this card in the top divisions and he'll actually do a pretty decent job for you, right? So yeah, like I was saying, 4-3-2-1, stay back while attacking cover center, 4-2-3-1 um, with the, one of two CDMs. If you keep him on balanced or stay back, that would be fine because he would play more to work rates, obviously. But listen, man, even when I had him in that right center position as an attacking oriented card, he would still push, push forward from time to time. And what you notice is the lengthy really pushing him forward, right? So they did a pretty solid job with this card. Definitely very, very good stuff there. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.